Hey, Matt the Momo Hunter with McGee Farms. And uh, we're gonna be installing a Harbor Freight Quick Hitch on our New Holland 1720 tractor. Now, I've already done it on the LS tractor that we've got, and that's what we're looking at right now. Uh, these Harbor Freight ones, if you've uh, looked around, some of them are a little pricey, some of them aren't too bad. The Harbor Freight one, if you catch a sale, you can get them for about $100. And they work really nice. I put one on this when I first got it, and it's been great, but you can't use them right out of the box. Uh, there's some modifications you've got to do to them. And uh, so we're going to go step by step as I put it on the New Holland, but we're just going to kind of show you first how this is set up. You get your basic quick hitch. You're gonna see me pull it out of the box and it's got a little hook right here. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the hook off. You can pick these up on Amazon. Also, uh, uh, Rural King, if you've got Rural King stores near you, they usually have them in stock. It's called a quick hitch adapter. Uh, hook that on and they're ready to go. The only other thing you've kinda of gotta do is uh, if you've got older implements that are three-point, like I do, uh, you've got to modify with these bushings, which we're going to do that to uh, our hay fork, and I'll do a separate video that kind of shows how we do that. So anyway, that's, uh, that's what we got on here. Now we're going to go get the New Holland out and unbox it and start getting everything hooked up. So this is what they're gonna look like when you pull them out of the box. You open up the box and there's way too much packing material in there. But uh, this is what you're gonna get. First thing that you're gonna do is this hook right here is useless. You're gonna take it off because that's where we've got a little modification where we've got this. Like I said, these are cheap, Harbor Freight. I think they're like 19 bucks or something like that. They're not expensive. Uh, one thing I would say about this is since we are going to modify implements, if you just have one tractor and you got a lot of implements, like older ones, you're going to change, you might be better off with going with the uh, Rural King version. I can't think of what the name is, but it's set straight up to where you don't have to modify your implements because uh, it's about 19 15 19 dollars for the little pins to switch them over if you got multiple tractors you're probably better off with this these are about a hundred the ones at rural king they're about 200 so by the time that you're buying have the extra money and buying several of them it's going to be cheaper with the harbor freight uh, plus i love harbor freight anyway i'm kind of a harbor freight junkie one thing I would say, if anyone from Harbor Freight happens to ever watch this video, is why not just leave this off or make it to where it's like a, an option? Because 90% of the people that are buying these take this off anyway. You know, I'd rather uh, pay $10 less for this and not have this or make it an option where you can get the adapter. Just, uh, just a thought. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab a wrench and we're gonna take these two bolts and take this hook off. Okay, we got our bolts off. So the next step is there's little pins down here. We're gonna pull these out. That's where your three point is gonna hook into. So we're gonna pull these out on both sides and then this just hooks right into the lower arms of your three-point. So we've got these lower pins in. The next step is going to be hooking this in. And you're basically, the pin that comes with this, that pin, you're going to go through here. And that's also where your top arm is going to hook in. So you got all of them hooking up together. Okay, so we got the top link in, and this will kind of swivel a little bit. That's That uh, works as your top arm. The lower arms, 
You have these here, and there's a little lever that opens and closes. Like I said, the issue is all of my implements are Category 1. This is set up for Category 2. So I'm going to have to convert this spear over. It's, it's a pretty simple job to do. I've already done one uh, between now and spring. I'm probably going to have to convert every uh, piece of equipment I've got. I've got four tractors. This is the second one that I've got the quick hitch on. But by springtime, too, I should have the rest of them all uh, switched over. So anyway, that is the uh, how you install it, how you convert it to make it work for regular three-point implements. I'm going to do another video uh, probably just, oh, maybe a day after this one is posted that'll be right behind it that shows how to convert your uh, implements up and also how that uh, how to hook them up. It's it's really simple. These work really great. Uh, I showed you on the other one. You know, I got the blade on it right now on the one that we already did. But yeah, it's basically you just back up and uh, lift it, and then you come out and hook this up. It's that simple. But we'll have another video that goes a little more in depth on that here uh, shortly after this one is posted. Again, it's Matt the Momo Hunter from McGee Farms. If this helped you, if you like it, if you enjoy the page, we always appreciate if you subscribe, leave us a like, leave us a comment. Uh, it's very much appreciated, and it does help out the page.